Let's say you're walking around most any town in Italy with your sketchbook. You notice the locals hang out their laundry to dry on their windows and balconies. You decide the lights and shadows of the laundry would make an interesting subject for a painting. So you grab a table at the outdoor cafe across the street. Then, are you going to copy the laundry you see hanging on the balcony just as it is? Or, do you spend a few minutes creating a variety of laundry arrangements in your sketchbook to paint from? Am I not right in saying, if you copy the laundry hanging out just as you see it, you're letting this guy make the most important design decision in your painting. When I suggest to one of my students that they take a minute to design the elements in a photograph before they start their painting, they often tell me they don't understand design or they're not good at design. But they are. They are. You are. I am. We all have a God-given sense of design. You're a good designer and you enjoy design. Let me prove it to you. When you move into a new apartment or home, do you tell the movers to just put the furniture anywhere? Or do you arrange the furniture right down to the pot on the coffee table? Should it go here? here or maybe just leave it out if I gave you a bundle of wildflowers and asked you to arrange them in a vase would you be good at it would you enjoy it this spring when you go out in your garden do you randomly plant bushes shrubs flowers or do you search for a pleasing balance Isn't your garden arrangement a reflection of your unique sense of design? Is there something about this wall that bothers you? Why? If I ask you to arrange the pots on this table, could you do it? Would you enjoy doing it? We enjoy arranging. It bothers us when things are out of balance. We have confidence in our good taste. Ask yourself, what sense are we using? Sometimes we call it arranging, sometimes balance, sometimes taste. But what sense are we really listening to? Our unique sense of design. We need to begin arranging the objects in our paintings just as we arrange the flowers in our garden, using the same scents and for the same reasons. Now imagine what would happen if you began applying your design scents into your paintings. For the past five years, I've been putting together a series of tutorials on design each one about 10 to 20 minutes in length, and each one taking on a specific principle of design. Design principles are logical, they're learnable, and once you have them, they'll be evident in every painting you paint. Let me take a few minutes to show you a few snippets of these principles of design, so you have a better idea of what these tutorials are about and how they're presented. Thanks for watching.
Now I want you to have this information because I know it will make a difference in your painting just like it has in mine. Here's how to order.